Yeah, well, he, I remember um, the big moment. Well, yeah, it was a, a sit down with Marv, and um, it was after I had gotten arrested, and, and I had already declared that I was gonna, I was gonna leave. This is one now after I uh, was arrested. That now, what are you gonna do? Because now the media is saying nobody's gonna touch you. Um, Coach Smith is calling my house saying we will take him back. Um, and then that's when Mark stepped in and he goes, no, 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 no. You made the decision to leave. Now, I'll tell you what, I can guarantee you if you, here we go again, work hard, um, in these next three months, somebody's gonna take a chance on you. He said, you will not go undrafted. And I trusted him. Um, and I worked, I worked extremely hard for those three months and um the Raiders took a chance. Looking back at that, you mentioned getting arrested, the troubles you had, and then still to be a first round pick. The odds of that are like none. None. Yep. And and I was it was really the first time that a guy um you know didn't go to the combine uh, um, and had his own workout. And that that was the game changer really because I had a little you know, uh, private combine and, and invited all the teams and not all of them came, but 75% of them did. And that was a cool day because I got to put on a show really. And I had been practicing, um, with an NFL 10 year vet, um, as a receiver. And, um, we had it down and we had timing. Um, I did everything that was in my wheelhouse. That, that that I did well and really put that um, like the best foot forward um, as a strategy. Um, and I remember uh, Mike Holmgren, he took over the, the workout. He stepped in. He was at the Niners at the time, and I loved Mike. He's another Trojan. Um, and he kind of led the workout with let's see you do this, 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 this. And I and I thought to myself, man, I'd like I would love to play with it for this guy. Not even having any idea what his future uh had in store for him. Um but he was just a likable guy that uh, was really relaxed. It wasn't a big deal. And no wonder Favre landed in like the perfect situation. Because as you know, man there's a lot of guys that can play the game, but if you wind up in the right system with the right supporting cast, things happen great. And the perfect example, Joe Montana. <laughs> I don't think he could throw it 55 yards, to be honest. Um, one of the greatest of all time because of being at the right place at the right time in the right system. They talk about draft busts yeah. and guys not panning out. And it's not that the guy isn't talented. It's being in the right system to utilize his skill. 